the violence, stop the hate. Protesters lined the streets of the swanky Hamptons as the president arrived for two controversial fundraisers. We're doing a fundraiser there. We're doing another fundraiser with another friend of mine. And I understand the fundraiser was totally sold out and it's very successful. One of the fundraisers was hosted by Joe Farrell, a wealthy developer. It's really an honor to have the president of the United States in your home. Diane McInerney went behind the scenes for an inside look at Farrell's $40 million mansion. There's 16 bedrooms and 19 bathrooms. Wow. The 2,000 square foot master bedroom is bigger than the average house in America. There's a bowling alley and a basketball court. <laughs> and check out the children's play area. This is so cool. There's an indoor skate park and mini theater. This is amazing. Outside, Farrell has his own field of dreams. You have your own baseball field? I do, I do, yeah. The 12 acre spread is a popular summer rental for the rich and famous. The cost, $250,000 a week. Jay-Z and Beyonce rented the house for a while. We had Madonna. Trump's donors are paying $2,800 for general admission to the fundraiser. It costs extra for a private photo session. A photo with the president is $35,000. Wow. And so far we have 45 people that have paid that. And right here is where the photos will be with the president. Trump's friends have faced major backlash for hosting the fundraisers, including calls for a boycott of tycoon Stephen Ross's businesses, Equinox, SoulCycle, and the Miami Dolphins. The president defended Ross today. The controversy makes Steve Ross hotter. He'll figure that out in about a week. But he's very happy. He's got a very successful, a lot of people are going. We have two fundraisers. One is Steve, one is another gentleman. That other gentleman is Farrell, and he says he has no regrets. It's an incredible honor. I think one of the great honors of my life, actually. Mm -hmm.